following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you we weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I leave a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <clears throat> okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento sitting in for the master himself, Tom O'Brien. I'll try to share a few thoughts that we had today. Uh, the first chart that I posted is from the Dow Jones Industrial Library. This is from the Elliott Way, folks. And basically what this is showing is that you have a cluster of Fibonacci days and years and months coming in here in 2021. But remember, this was sent out early in the year, right around January, when the Dow was at 31,000. Now the Dow is at 35,000. So this has continued to go higher. But there's nothing wrong with it. The reason why we're still in 2021. Now you can see all the different years that these occurred, but I think the one that's most important to me is if you look at 1987, folks, there in 2009, you'll see the line going across. That line in 1987 doesn't even exist as far as a crash. That's how that's how insignificant it was in the long-term view of things. That low that we made that day on October the 19th, 1987, was an exact 61% retracement from the low in August of 1982. We hit 666 that day, as I recall. And we were, I don't remember the exact number, we were 20, 2200, no, 1660. 1600 in the Dow that day. So it was uh, pretty crazy. That means that there may or may not be a top. Folks, it doesn't make any difference about a top. Don't think that way and don't think in crashes. Crashes happen so infrequent, you'll, you'll drive yourself absolutely nuts. Let me, let me give you a, a little bit of a history lesson here. Back in 1987, in August of 1987, I'll bring this up. I had just written the book, Astro Cycles, A Trader's Viewpoint. I was on TFNN, excuse me, let's try it again, Larry, in FNN Los Angeles, uh, KWHY, uh, with uh, uh, Gene, <laughs> Bill Griffith, Sue Herrera, Sue Herrera and uh, Ron Insana, and there were, uh, Ed Hart was there and stuff. But I was on the show uh, in early, uh, early August. And I told Bill I thought that we were going to be topping sometime around the date of August the 25th. And that's when we had these different planets line up. There were five planets uh, that lined up on that particular day. That was known as harmonic convergence. That's when all the the, the old uh, the guys that wear the uh, aluminum hats, they were out there thinking it was going to be the end of the world. And uh, what I was doing, I was just looking at the ABCD patterns going up into that. And the fact that that was a very strong day with a whole bunch of planets happening you know and i knew i knew enough about astrology to be dangerous and that's pretty much what it was but when i was on the show i was on the show with arch crawford at the same time uh, we were on the same show and i told bill i said bill sometime in october of this year we're going to see the dow down more than 300 points in one day remember the dow was trading at around 2700 when we were on the show 25 around right around 2700 so that would have been a huge drop and he said how can you figure that out and my I, I, he never asked me how i did it but all i did was i took the largest uh, down day that we'd had during that whole bull run which was 198 points in the dow believe it or not we, we cover that in an hour as we did today but uh, I multiplied it times 1.618 and came up with a little over 300 points. Well, it opened it 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 opened lower by 300 points on the uh, day of the 19th, and of course had a day when it was down 16% uh, uh, in one day. But trying to pick a top, something like that, folks, is absolutely futile. I don't like to do it. I don't even like to talk about it. Because some people are talking about a top, I'm going to show him some reason. Yes, there may be a top here, maybe not, but you don't really need that. Let me show you why. Here's what really occurred 
on August in August of 1987. Let me get this up here and show you. I had this diagram done for quite a while. You'll see there was August the 27th when we had five planets at zero degrees. The market broke down to 2,500 in the Dow. Then it rallied up and made a perfect 61% retracement of that day. That was October. That was October the 2nd, folks. That's when that 61% retracement. On that day, I bought puts, October puts that expired on the 16th of, of uh, October. And as you can see here, on Friday, October the 16th, the Dow was down 106 points. Now, 106 points when you're trading at 2,500 is a lot. And when you've got puts that are big time in the money, that was a lot of money. However, if I would have had November puts instead of October puts, I would have made 200 times more my money. The problem was getting filled. During that day of October 19th, believe it or not, the prices went through levels that they'd never seen before. And many people thought that they got out of options were actually not. They just weren't filled. There was nobody on the other side of the trade. So on the next day, the 20th, of course, the plunge protection team came in and the market started to rally. And that was the best buying opportunity of the 1980s. That was a 61 percent retracement of the low that we made on August the 9th, 1982, when the market was uh, considerably lower. So remember, you don't need to do that. Your main focus is, is try not to lose. Don't worry about how much money you can make. It's about how much money you don't want to lose. That's the real key. Now, I want to go over a few couple, few things. I want to talk just a tiny bit uh, about silver here because silver has really started to. Uh, we had a nice move early this morning in silver. You know, we had the beautiful. No, oh, one second, folks. I'm sorry. We had the really nice move down to uh, 23 cents. We got down to uh, 22.89, uh, and then we've uh, exploded. Now we've already taken out these highs today, as you can see here. We were looking at it when it was 23.73, and the silver has already started to move higher. And what we're doing now is just adding the little ABCD pattern here, and I'll do it in sequence so you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see this was the the ABC sequence of it, and then you want to see the the target for that move. If you if you follow the ABCD patterns, will come in you know substantially higher. You'll be able to see that on the next chart. There you go. You'll see you're up around the 2420. That will be up two dollars an ounce in a matter of five trading days, folks. There's probably been, with a high degree of probability, a very strong chance that we've made a very, very important bottom in the gold and in the silver market. There's, uh, there's no question about it. When you look at this on the weekly basis in gold, you'll see, and of course, Tom covers gold as good as anybody in the business. You'll see that ABCD pattern that we made there at uh, 1875. We took out the lows of February by about $3. And um, then it turned and just, just just kept going, and it's still going. And we, we're thinking we're going to get at least 1,800 before a correction. 877-927-6648. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, this is Larry Pesavento. This is Larry Pesavento sitting in for Tom O'Brien. I thought we'd take a look at the FANG stocks. Uh, starting out here with um, Tesla, you'll notice that yesterday on Friday, yesterday, it was Friday, not yesterday, we made a perfect 78% retracement of that high going back about two months. We'd taken out the July high by 50 cents, folks. 50 cents on a $700 stock. Boy, if that's not telling you there's no uh, interest up there, nothing is. And, of course, the market turned lower, closed lower that day, and then today gapped down with the news that there's some type of a problem with uh, one of the cars uh, that they sell that you can't hear when you're driving. Now, we're going to look at each of these FANG stocks because they each tell a nice story. And I don't know if you get a chance to do that, but I think it's interesting because these used to be the leaders. They're not, they're not uh, doing it right now. You'll notice here this is the um, Apple going over the last month or so. You see we're up here at a triple top up in here. This is not unexpected, folks, because we sent a video out over the weekend talking about it because there was a very clear, and I'll, I'll bring it up here and show it to you, a very clear A, B, C, D pattern into new high ground. And we, we've certainly done that. We've hit that. Uh, we've gone above the 150 uh, level, hitting 151, completing that A, B, C, D pattern. Now, that doesn't mean that's going to stop it. That just means it's an A, B, C, D pattern, you know, over the past month. And we, we like A, B, C, Ds, but, of course, we know they don't they don't work all, all the time. And this is what the whole thing is about. It's about how much you have to risk to find out whether the trade is correct. And on this, you don't have to risk very much because if you take 3% of a $150 stock, that's only $4, okay, $4 and a half. And if you want to cut that down even closer to two dollars, because if it doesn't stop at 151, you know you're certainly at 153. You know you're absolutely 100% wrong. So you're only risking two dollars on a 150 dollar stock to see if that is it. And and that's what it's all about. It's nothing more than a pattern that is uh, unfolding as as you watch it. Now. Let's take a uh, look now at uh, Facebook. That's one that's been relatively strong. You'll notice we had that triple top, and then we broke down. We made a 61% retracement. Now what we've done now is today we're taking out the highs of June, uh, August the 9th, and uh, that's at a 61% retracement. So there's a possibility here that it might not get any higher. But again, if it keeps going higher, we could get all the way up to 390 
in uh, Facebook, that would be a three drive pattern and a double ABCD pattern. And, that, and that's certainly possible. Let me draw that in just to show you what I'm talking about, because when these patterns fail, folks, you do not want to you don't want to stand in front of it because this is what you could be looking at in Facebook if the market really gets moving. You see, we had the pullback right there, and then you have a beautiful ABC that takes you up another twenty bucks or nineteen dollars to three eighty-five without any trouble at all. But what it has to do now is it's got to clear, you know, that three seventy-two level in order to get there. So that's the key level to be watching as you unfold these uh, uh, patterns to see which ones are going to give you the best bangs for the buck. Right now, Apple looks to be the best one because you have to risk so small amount to see if you're right. Of course, remember, Facebook is twice the, si twice the price of Apple, so it has a little more uh, room to give when you're doing this. Now, let's take a look at one that, that, that has just absolutely massacred the three drive pattern. The first one we're going to take a look at, of course, here is the, uh, this is Microsoft. This is the daily. That's not the key one. The key one is the weekly because this is just absolutely um, obliter obliterated the three drive pattern. Let's get this up here because it had everything going for it that you could possibly want. You'll see back here in February, you make a perfect ABCD there at 277. It actually stays there for about a week at about 280, uh, then backs off a little bit to 274 and then explodes up into the 290s uh, in the week of the second week of the third week of July. And that that just massacres that problem. Now, 277 would be your entry point. There's nothing wrong with that trade. But if you're going to risk 3%, 3% of a $277 stocks is 750 So you have to put a stop in. So you're selling in at 277 and you put a $7 stop. So 284 is your stop. And that would happen at the end of that week. So you would have been out of that with a you know 3% loss. And if you wanted to, you could reverse because that's certainly a failure. They, they work within that tight of percentage or they're no good. And remember, you're only, you only have to be right 50% of the time to, to, whip, to beat this game. And uh, you know, we, we've proven that in the Floor Traders Handbook over and over again with the thousands of samples that we've shown. But it's easy to do. But ABCs work. They work about 60% of the time, and the other 40% of the time, they don't work. And that's what you have to focus on is the ones that don't work. Now, here's one that is a, has a very bearish pattern and is in the news almost all the time. I actually use it very infrequently now. But if you take a look here, this is Netflix. And as you see Netflix here, you basically have the 135 pattern where each of those moves are equal. You can see how perfect they are. They're just about as nice as you could be. The retracement comes in at the 61% retracement. The market breaks. Then, then for, for two solid weeks, it tries to rally to 525, which is the 382 retracement of 0.5, and now it started to roll over again and move to the downside. So this is a stock that looks very, very bearish. Uh, on a longer term basis. Uh, of course, I'm looking at something that, what long term to me is about two months. If you look at it on a, on a weekly or something, it probably doesn't mean very much. Uh, as you can see, let's just bring the weekly up here so you'll be able to see it here without too much trouble. It doesn't mean too much on a uh, on a weekly basis, but uh, I'm more risk averse than I am more than anything else. Now, Amazon's been the one that has been the uh, the one that has been the real big surprise here because we had a a perfect A, B, C, D pattern on this one. Uh, this was a, a, an ex, extremely good one. We went up there to that 37.50, and then you see we had that monster gap where it dropped several hundred points. Then it rallied for three days going nowhere. Today, we were all the way down to 32.17, and we've rallied $70, folks, to get back almost unchanged on the day. But we've broken down through all all support. I mean, we've broken two standard deviations when we did that. That was at 3296. And uh, this has very little support down in here. It, maybe it turns from here, it possibly, but boy, the charts are saying this stock has got a problem somewhere. I don't know if it's the fact that Mr. Bezos is not running the company anymore or not. I'm not sure. But that's uh, that's what it looks like. Now, if we take a look at the one that's been just about the strongest of all, and that is Mr. Google. We'll get it up here. You'll see here this thing just continues to move higher and higher here again. We had a really nice three drive pattern, and then the market gapped up. Folks, we have been in a gap up on Google now 
since the 23rd of July. Three weeks we have been in a gap up. If this thing ever gaps down below 2,700, they are going to trap everybody that bought it over the last three weeks. Now, that has not happened yet, but that is a possibility. And that's one of the things we have on our watch list. Even though we don't trade stocks at 20, uh, 24-7, uh, we, st we still watch them and report on them because they're part of the indices. And, of course, the NASDAQ is one of the big indices. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're, we're back, folks. Uh, this is Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien. We're going to switch gears here. Get to where the real money is, as Bernstein Woodward would say, follow the money. We're going to look at the dollar index. Uh, I posted the daily chart, and then I quickly posted the weekly chart because that's the one I wanted to focus on. There's a lot of news uh, in the in the uh, financial press about the collapse of the U.S. dollar. I think we're a little far away from that. If uh, That's my two cents worth from right now. But if we go back to 19, uh, I think it was 2003, well, actually, 2011, 
Tom O'Brien coined the phrase King Dollar when the dollar was trading at 73. From 73, it went to 104, made the double top. And now we're coming down, and I believe we're going to have one more push down, about four or five more points, which get the euro uh, up around that uh, 119 level. And uh, excuse me, 121 level, and that would uh, give us a spot here to really go long the dollar and uh, go short the euro. But uh, this is a uh, weekly projection, projection, so it's not easy to to see it unfold. And if it gets above 9,400 on this dollar index, uh, that tells us that uh, this is dollar is going to go higher, the euro is going to go lower, and you won't have to worry about uh, U.S. dollar collapse, at least at this time. I know there's a lot of stuff in the news about what's happening in Afghanistan, but folks, the market just basically took it in stride today. You could see it happening. It, Dow was down 200 points. Before you knew it, it was down 100. Then it was down 50. And then it got up on the day. I mean, the, the market was telling you this was not a big deal, and at least right now. One of my contacts over in the, in London has told me that uh, this is something that they've been planning for a long time. And what it's going to do is it's going to stop the fighting uh, in Afghanistan and the other countries are going to come in and take over, whether it's Russia or China, whoever it's going to be. And there's not going to be much fighting after this. So we're going to see if that's the case. But uh, that certainly overtook the country. And just then that I'm not blaming any administration, folks, because they all were in this thing together. Bush, all of them going back as far as you want to go. Uh, they all did the same stuff. I mean, it was not good. I mean, Mr. Biden happened to be the Mr. President. Biden had to be, you know, pulling the trigger at the end, but it wouldn't have made any difference because this was already pre-planned when we started taking troops out little by little over the past several years. And, I've, and let's just move on to something that people really care about, okay? <laughs> let's look at some more charts. All right, now that's the one. That's the dollar index. But the other one that we want to pay very close attention to here, folks. Let's get this weekly chart up here because this is uh, really starting to move here. This is this Japanese yen. I want to get up here. You'll be able to see it today. It's starting to move after that double bottom. Let's get the picture up here, Larry. Here's the double bottom in the yen. You'll see down here at the 89.50 and what we've done. Here's what we're doing today. Just looking at the daily chart. You'll see that we've had a really, uh, really nice move up today, confirming that that bottom is in fact in, and that's going to be an interesting one to follow through. It's been in a bear market for quite some time. The pullback that we made here back on the 12th, excuse me, the 11th of August was a right at a 61% retracement, and that says this market's going to go up to at least the 92, uh, the 92 level, and we'll uh, show you how we come to that. That's the the original ABCD move that we look at uh, so much as we're overlooking these uh, different patterns. That's the, the basic one, the seed, as uh, Benoit Mandelbrot uh, called it. That's the seed of all the patterns is the ABCD pattern. So that's it. If you have any questions, folks, 877-927-6648. Now, since we're talking about the British pound, I wanted to bring this up here because this is a this is a four hour chart in the British pound, and we're getting close to some major support. Let's get this up here. Now, you'll notice here that we've been coming down pretty hard since June when we made that triple top up there with a three drive pattern at 142.60. Then we came all the way down to 136. It looked like it was going to be the end of the world for the British pound with the COVID and everything, and the market com completely reversed. And what we've done now is we're completing a corrective pattern here in the British pound. And I think we've got a chance here uh, for the British pound and also the U.S. dollar to move in the same direction. Uh, they can't move in the same direction, but move in the same direction as the euro. So the area that we're looking at here is at 137.80. That's about 50 pips from where we are right now. So watch that one very, very closely. That's going to be an interesting one from a major support. And the, the reason why, folks, if you like head and shoulders patterns, that would complete the head and shoulders. Let me let me show you why you have to have that occur. Let me get this in. I'm going to draw this dark black line, and you'll be able to see it really clearly, and you'll understand why a head and shoulders pattern has to be done this way. Hold on. Let's get this up here and take a look at it. These are some of the things we'll be teaching, of course, on my class on the 19th of uh, 
this month, and we're going to be showing you why head and shoulders. You'll notice that left shoulder is where the black arrow start, or the black line started on July the 2nd. Then you go into your head on the 20th of July, and then your right shoulder has to be higher than that left shoulder to be a valid head and shoulders pattern. And the time should be uh, r pretty close, and it will be, and that's what you'd be watching. You'd like to see it to get to 137 Right, 137.80, down about 50 pips from where it is right now, and that would be a perfect head and shoulders pattern. Will it work? I don't know, but the thing that you do have going for you, you know exactly what your risk is. Your risk there at that point on something that trades for about $50,000 is going to be about $300, about 60 pips, because it's going to be that accurate. It's got to stop at 137.80, or it's no good, and you know you're wrong uh, out, and you could reverse if you like. But that would be a per – let me just draw this in. It's just so perfect that, uh, you know, when I look at this, I said, gee, this is a – a real interesting one. Let's get it up here, and we'll see it here really closely. And there's there would be your right shoulder right there. I just showed you with the ABCD, and that's completing over a 10-day period because this is a four-hour chart. And blow it up a little bit, you'll be able to see it even clearer. These are the kind of things that we want to you know make easy for you to understand. But there's your there's your ABCD coming right in there, 137.78, and uh, that's the head and shoulder, and that's that's how you line it up to. Find whether the risk is going to work. It's no different than what we did when we shorted it when it was way back at 142. That's this is the upside down pat upside down pattern of that. Let's just move it over. You know, uh, we've already shown you that, but we'll bring it up again so you can show it. This is the upside down pattern of that thing. Instead of being head and shoulders, it was a three drive, but it's the same principle. It's that A B C D pattern where you put everything together and say, okay, it's got to stop right here at 142.50 or there's something wrong. And it stopped at 142.50. That's what you're looking for when you're trying to line them up like this. I hope that understands how patterns work, but that's pretty much what we're looking at. Now, we're going to be talking here just a tiny bit about Canada because they're going to new uh, uh, prime minister is going to have to go under some uh, severe scrutiny here. And here is the chart. Let's just do this together so you can see it. Here's the Canadian dollar, all right, versus the U.S. And we're seeing a big down move today because they're getting ready to have this election and all this other stuff. But if you add the pattern to it, if you put the ABCD pattern together on everything, you'll see that it's going to have a very strong probability of coming down to that once to that 79 level. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Oh. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted a chart of the crude oil. Uh, this is a four-hour chart going back over the last three months. You'll see the three drive to a top pattern that we made back on July the 4th. But if you look to the left, you'll see there in mid-June, around the 10th, there was another three drive pattern with an ABCD that ended at 71. And that, that pattern failed. And that, that's because these patterns are not infallible. You know, they fail, and you have to be prepared to, you know, handle it when they do fail. And your failure is when it goes past 3% of what your risk factor is. So if you're risking, you know, 3% in, in crude oil, which is a great deal, that's almost, uh, that's about $2 a barrel. That's far more than we usually risk. We only risk about 88 cents. But so you've got to find out what your risk is. Uh, okay, someone, uh, uh, tough day, PLBY, uh, uh, oh, David's saying something about I don't know what PLBY is, David. Uh, I, I don't even have it in my list of uh, stocks, so I'm not able to. Uh, if you want to post it, that'd be great. But some of them had some pretty tough days. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a it's a uh, <laughs> ammunition for <laughs> Afghanistan. I I don't know what it would be. That that's a good part of doing futures and doing forex, folks. You're limited to what you can look at. You can look at about 30 or 40 things as opposed to five or six thousand that David looks at in his portfolio of things that he has for his service, which is really spectacular because it gives you the Gartleys and the butterflies and shows you exactly what these things should be doing to the to the hundredth decimal point, which is really good. In fact, he's had some really wonderful posts here uh, on my show and also for his own, especially the wheat. Uh, the wheat has just been, uh, you've been rocking and rolling, David. You should be very, very proud of that one. Look at this one, folks. Uh, this, is, uh, this is wheat. You'll be able to see uh, this is studio. Okay. Ah, uh, it's not David. Okay. Hold on a second here. There we go. There's the, uh, in fact, we hit 790, uh, in the wheat, uh, today, uh, over the, over the overnight. So it's, it's continuing, uh, to go higher. We're at the top end of that ABCD level. So we got to remind ourselves. Now I wanted to uh, bring you to your attention the chart that was someone sent to me. And this is people that are predicting, you know, a potential major something happening here. And remember, th it's really difficult to try to predict the top, folks. I've already, I've already mentioned that, and you don't have to do that. When the top is in, it's going to give you a chance. Are you kidding me? When that top is in, the shorts are so scared to death, all they have to do is rally two points in the S&P, and they'll probably rally 50 handles. That's how scared the folks are. The open interest is not producing uh, big gains, which it should be. Uh, we've had drops in big drops in the NASDAQ open interest, so that's short covering. So that's why the NASDAQ is weaker today. It was down 140 at one time. So that's telling you that that's the type of thing that you're looking at. So you've got to be able to... Uh, you know, to plan your day, not around a crash. If you do that, you're only going to trade once every generation. And uh, that's past. That was 1987. That was 30, uh, what, 34 years ago. 
And believe me, was it 34? Yeah, I guess it was. Yeah, 34. Hard to believe. Shut the front door and raise her in. Boy, I remember it like it was yesterday. And folks, it was a real crash. Just to give you an example how bad it was that day, of the 1,600 issues on the New York Stock Exchange, there were only nine or oh, 13 issues that were up. Only 13 issues out of... Uh, what six? There were sixteen or seventeen hundred issues that day, and the real key to that, folks, was you got to. I got to ask yourself the question: If a stock will not go down when we've had a bona fide crash like 1929, with the stocks down 16 percent in one day, and nine stocks or 13 stocks won't go down, do you know how much buying that takes to keep that from going down? Are you kidding me? And if you'd have followed those stocks. I don't remember which ones they were because that's such a long time ago, but I followed them for a while and they screamed. I mean, though you buy that, you got that was a that was a market telling you that I really want to go higher because if you can't get a stock down when you're in a market crash, it's only got one place to go, folks, and that's up. And away it did. The other one that went crazy to the upside uh, on the 20th of October 1987 was Treasury bonds, and I was long Treasury bonds, and they were down about. A half a point, which is really not very much, you know, about five hundred dollars. But I, I was afraid that the brokerage firms might not even open the next day, so I, I liquidated my long, my long bonds and covered my, my the short S and P's and stuff. And the bonds rallied thirteen handles over the next few days without letting anybody in. I mean, they wouldn't back off at all. They just kept running and running and running and running and running, and they kept running. For up until just a few years ago. So that's it. Terry's was saying that the 4483 completes a big ABCD on the ES, and it, that's only 20, that's not even 20 handles from the old high. So it could easily do that. Terry, you're absolutely correct. That is in the ballpark. Now, the Dow Jones did complete it. I think I posted that one. We'll post it again here. But the Dow Jones has certainly, uh, hit, here it is right here. You'll be able to see it. The Dow Jones. Uh, did complete it, and I, and I know it didn't take out the high yet, but uh, that did complete the ABCD on, on the larger one. You know what, Terry, you're absolutely right. I stand corrected. That That is correct. It's 35. It could go 200 points higher in the Dow without any trouble to 35,647. That's the ABCD. I'm looking at that 127. I didn't see that. Uh, well, it's right in front of me. I don't know why I miss it, but that is a perfect ABCD, so we could easily get 200 points higher in the Dow Jones, and that would get us to about 44.83 uh, in the things. It's a good eye. Thank you very much. I didn't see it. I was watching that 127 because it followed so nicely and, you know, dropped uh, 300 points from the high. And, of course, it came back and took all of it back. I haven't seen it. Is the market, is the Dow Jones still up on the day? Because the last time I saw it was up just a little bit, but I don't know whether it was continuing to go higher or not, because I don't check prices when I'm ever on the radio show, because it's uh, it's too hard to uh, to keep it up. So that's uh, one that I'm watching. But you remember the Nasdaq, the Nasdaq is is certainly already completed. It's uh, and it and that can easily go higher. I mean, it it came back really strongly today, and you'll be able to see it. Uh, I know you cannot see it. I see it. Okay, it's it's up pointing. Okay, thank you very much. See, but with the uh, with the NASDAQ, you see you have that three drive pattern there, one, two, three. You see that? And we broke really hard today. We broke over, uh, I think we're about 180 points lower, uh, touching the low of just the previous day. And then all of these things uh, started to go up. So the Dow's up about 60. So we could easily make 200 points higher in the Dow, Dow without any trouble, 35, uh, 648, without any trouble doing it. And, of course, the Russell... That's the wicked stepsister. I mean, you talk about something that uh, is really doing badly. I mean, you can see how we were in the Russell, and I, I, to, people try to explain to me what's wrong with it, but I, too dense to understand. But last week we made a 61% retracement to the tick at 22.65, and for the last six days we've been going down. This was as of Friday, and we were down big today. Uh, that probably came back a little bit too, but uh, this is. Uh, this is a market that's really lagging badly. So you want to buy strength and sell weakness. Buying strength is when you've got 1,600 issues down and 13 issues up. Buy those 13 issues because if you can't get the market down with the market getting hammered like that, it was uh, it was really quite something to, to see that. And I, I used that as an example for quite a while. 877-927-6638. Sunshine.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesimento setting in for Tom O'Brien himself. And I just wanted to bring up the S&P. You'll notice here that we've made new highs now. So it continues to go higher. And do you want to see a, a chart that's really amazing? And you wonder what's going to happen. This is a, this is a no-brainer, folks. I don't know when. I just know it's going to. But take a look at this. This is the, uh, the same one, the reverse point wave that we talked about before. From 2018, you make a low. 2019, you make a high. 2020, then you take out the low of 2018. That was the COVID. That was March the 23rd. And look, since March the 23rd, we went from 2200 to, uh, excuse me, from 22 220 all the way up to 446, and we continue to go higher. The thing is, folks, this is how patterns end. They don't begin this way. It's just how high they're going to go. And I have no idea when that is it. I mean, I, when I saw the market this morning down just a very, very small amount, I knew that this thing was not going down today because it was negative news and the market absorbed it like it didn't even happen. And th that's market feedback, folks. You know, if, if you have really good news and the market breaks, that's telling you there's no buyers. But you've got bad news and the market won't go down. 
There's nobody selling it. And that's, uh, you know, the bottom. Look, we're making a new high. I just noticed here at uh, 44.73. Jimmy just said we we're going to hit 44.83. I didn't think it was going to hit it well the end of the show, but we're almost there now. So uh, that's a heck of a move. We rallied. How many handles did we rally? What, 40 handles already today? Yeah, we rallied 40 handles from 32 to 73. That's 40 handles straight up with virtually no corrections. No, None of the corrections have been more than six or seven points. You know, that's that's what you want to try to do is to follow one of those little puppies. That's uh, that's the best thing. So the... <sighs> Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. 